Are there any UV disinfection solutions that do not emit UV wavelengths into a space? Yes, absolutely. And there's one that's relatively new called onboard air disinfection. And what this does is it actually is a, like a typical troffer, the kind of two by four panel light that you might see in the ceiling, but has some additional technology in it. So you have the light emitting source, but behind it, there's a concealed chamber. And what happens is there are fans that pull air into this chamber where it disinfects pathogens and it pushes them back into the space. So it's continuously disinfecting air. So as Dr. Sliney mentioned, there's um, con contaminated air is really important right now, especially with SARS-CoV-2 and also in healthcare facilities with MRSA and other contaminants that are pathogens that might be there. And so what this technology does is it takes those pathogens in this, this thing that looks like your typical light, but as we blow this apart and you look into it, you can see the UV light chamber that is behind this. And so it's done in such a way that it pulls that air in, and then as it goes past that lamp, there's a very carefully designed chamber that gives the maximum dosage that it can um, to, to eliminate those pathogens and, and inactivate them. And so it can have up to a 99.9% .9 um, disinfection of each cycle of, of air that, that goes through there, depending on what the pathogen is. So a very powerful way to, to disinfect spaces without introducing UV into the space. And since it's not emitting UV wavelengths into the space, like a filtered 222 nanometer far UVC and the pulse xenon, Gary, is onboard air as effective as the other UV light disinfection strategies in inactivating pathogens? Yeah, it's a great question because a way of thinking about it is like the modern version of what Dr. Sliney mentioned as far as the upper room air disinfection. And so there is a lot of research and a lot of history that shows that uh, disinfecting air can be highly effective in terms of the reducing the number of pathogens in the space, but also, and probably more importantly, reducing the number of infections in a space, especially in a healthcare facility. So there are some research um, that has been done recently um, in a ICU in University of Kentucky where the pathogens were reduced. And, but also what they did is they did a comparison of before they added air disinfection to after they added it. And what they ended up finding that the hospital acquired infections went down up to 60%. That's a very huge deal. So 60% fewer in in infections means people are healthier, recover faster and, and less of a strain on the, um, on the uh, healthcare system. So in general, what this system does is it reduces those pathogens and, and with each pass of the air that goes through it. And then that also reduces the, and improves outcomes. And, and interestingly, the, the, by disinfecting the air, there are fewer pathogens in the air, which means less pathogens are actually settling on the surfaces. So it actually does disinfect surfaces as well as air.